Welcome to my cage, my prison. Yes, it is a bedroom, but it is my sanctuary. It's a place where I spend most of my time. Not just in this physical space, but also up here. There are many different types of cages and sometimes you just need to escape. <laughs> Gary C. I often look around my room at my Disney Sumsums and my colourful lettering and different things in here and I think I'm refusing to grow up. This is, these are like little crutches that help me get through the depression and the anxiety. I look to them and, and they do make a difference. I know I'm way past my teenage sell-by date and I have many sort of teenage young adulty friends who are 10 years, maybe a bit more, younger than me. And I do feel like I'm reliving those years where I felt like I missed out sometimes. And maybe it's just me overanalyzing it and you know, friends are friends, but sometimes I do feel like I'm seeing the current world or, or especially the gay experience as a teenager. Cause I didn't come out till I was like 28 and I didn't have any sort of sexual experience till I was 24, so I do feel like I've missed out. I often find myself escaping to the past. People on my Twitter and social media may notice that I often give specific dates for things, like when I first got into an artist or I first saw something, and I often say that when I'm in conversation, I've noticed that I often say, oh, I've, I've liked that since 1994, or, and it's because I do hold on to those dates and the numbers and find it very hard to let go of nostalgic times. Even if they're not great times, even if they're times that I'd rather not remember because they seem better than now. I think one of my most obvious forms of escapism is helping other people that need to be needed because it means I don't have to deal with my own issues and I can get lost in their world and their story. And that is incredibly dangerous because it sets you back. It definitely sets you back. Just as getting lost in sumsums and things like that, it, it's nice to escape and to have those trashy shows like friends of mine watch the Kardashians. And they even say they're really trashy shows, but they just get lost in their lives. And maybe that's why we're so obsessed with ce celebrity culture nowadays, because it's it's nice to get lost in that and to forget about your life. My advice would be to choose you, to choose your life and try and be here and not forget where you are because you do only get one chance to live. And I think I need to do that. I think I need to keep my sanctuary and my space but be very mindful that there is a world out there and it's just waiting for me to find it. Well, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Mwah.